Uh, hey, what's up? Uh, welcome to my fun channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how I use the PBR brush to paint PBR textures onto meshes and use them as terrain and unity. Alright, so here I have already sculpted a mesh and unwrapped its UVs. The next thing I'm going to do is create a material, in this case I'm going to call it Fantasy Island Matte. It does not matter what shade that you use because this is only for preview, in this case I'm just going with the default one. Next I'll switch to the draw menu and this is where you create uh, blank image files for your blended textures. The order of the textures does matter, so you'll want to create a system that makes sense for you, so you'll never mess it up by accident. I typically go with the base map first, then I add the normal map, then roughness, and then I add height and ambient occlusion as base maps, since they're not really an option here, but they work fantastic with shaders and unity. Next, I'm going to use the PBR brush menu to create a multi-texture brush. Keep in mind this menu will only be visible in the texture draw mode. You can give your brush a name that makes sense. Next, assign your seamless textures to the brush in the same order as you have done for when you were creating the material. What I like to do here is uh, open my textures on the second monitor and just drag images into the file name field. Now click the create new brush button and there we go, a new brush. Keep in mind it will appear as a material in Blender. Materials will also appear in the brush list. Now you'll want to paint a normal brush stroke. You only have to do this once, but if you don't do it, it will crush the Blender. Now all you have to do is hold left alt key on your keyboard and paint away as you normally would. Here you see me trying to paint with a brush I had created in a previous Blender session. After you restart Blender, your brush data will be wiped out, so you'll need to click this reload brush button. And here we go, I can now confirm that my old brushes are working by painting a little bit of rocks and some vegetation. For this next trick, I'm going to show you that for this particular technique, the object space uh, normals and tangent space normals are not equal. So this is the seam I had marked when unwrapping the UVs for this mesh. And uh, because we're painting and blending the normals, when we go around the mesh, you'll find that the normals are actually upside down. We don't have to accept this. And uh, for now, we'll fix this by going into the shader settings and changing the normal into object space. Occasionally, this will make the base color look bleached. To fix this, just go into the brush settings and assign any picture you want to the texture slot. It, it will just fix it for some reason. When painting with the PBR brush, all the settings you have on top of your brush will apply as they normally would. So your brush size will affect the tiling of your texture, just as changing the color will change the color of the texture that you're painting. The direction you're looking at will also affect the tiling of your textures, which means that you'll eventually end up with something quite organic looking. Here you'll see me using the same texture and zooming onto the mesh to create more finer looking elements. And as I am making these organic blends, they will apply to every texture in the texture slots that we had made previously which means all the different cracks and surfaces will be illuminated differently and organically as well. Of course, this will be more visible when we stop previewing it and we actually have a render to play with. In a second, I'll show you how you can dab on uh, Torchlight 3 graphics and Unity's URP. When you're done, go ahead and save your texture files. Now remember that our normal texture is in the object space and as tangent space normal map just looks and works better in most situations we are going to have to deal with the process called baking and if like me you've never used blender in your life here's a quick guide on how to do it just click here then here select tangent then here and now you wait when you're done baking just save your new normal texture and you're ready to go into unity and here we are in Unity, I have imported the mesh 
and created a material with support for parallax occlusion. Do this to fully utilize your height map. Keep in mind for most cases the lit shader should be enough. Slap on some post processing. Add your props. Don't forget the light probes and reflection probes. Some vegetation and particles and you're nearly done. Just slap on a volumetric fog as final touch. Let me know in the comments if this is something you find useful. I have created the PBR brush to quickly texture these nature elements, but I'm sure there will be some other uses for it, so please let me know in the comments. I'll put the link to where you can get it in the video description, and happy painting! Bye bye!